I'm on the move. Keep your eyes peeled for infestations. You need to get home right now. Go on. Alan just shot past her will. Jesus. I'm on my way. Bitch all you want, you know I'm right. None of you had the stones to do what had to be done. The oh, fuck you and your noble murder bullshit! You don't go shooting people without at least consulting the fucking rest of us! We don't know he was going to die, Alan. The hell we didn't! Everybody who gets this black fever shit ends up dead sooner than later, you know that! You still should have talked to the rest of us first. We sit around talking about our feelings all day and then what? He turns when nobody's looking? Eats three of us before we put him down? What about me, Alan? Do I need to start sleeping with one eye open? Start getting sicker and maybe. <clears throat> Finally, things are going all well. Right. I don't know. There's just something satisfying about it. Feels like we're actually. God damn it, Charlie Actual, these people are gonna die without help. Uh, negative, Charlie Six. Hold position. Anybody who wants to avoid court martial, stay where you are. Everybody else on me! Copy that, SARS. Let's pop some heads. Let's roll. Well, at least somebody's got our six. Hey, try not to shoot us in the back, okay? That was exciting. I'm cool with that. All right, all right. I apologize for all the times I implied I'd shoot you in the head if you kept breaking quarantine. Tell you what, I've got some pull with the artillery pukes attached to my unit. I supply them with seized whiskey, and they rain hellfire on any hordes that happen to notice me and my boys. You get in a tight spot, give them a shout on the radio. I'll get the cannon cockers to send you a special delivery. But uh, we should get moving. That fight's gonna draw more of them here soon. I'll see you around.
There are still a few things to do out there. Ha. Huh. I'm on the move. Keep your eyes peeled for infestations. Word around town is you're making quite a splash for yourself, my friend. You might not know me yet, but I think the two of us could do each other a lot of good. Why don't you come down to Marshall's so we can have a little face-to-face -face chat? You here to help? Hey, I'm not greedy. Help me out and half of everything we get is yours. Okay, loading up. Zombies coming up behind us. Guess I've wasted enough of your time. Let's get out of here. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Let's roll. Watch behind us. Behind us. 
Hey, I got a favor to ask you. Could you stop by the store when you get a chance? Thanks to the brave actions of our Trumbull County Sheriff's deputies, the lawless elements that plague the rest of the valley have been kept out of Marshall. Let this be a lesson to those Wilkerson boys and anyone else who would prey on their fellow survivors. The law still reigns in Marshall. showing up. You hear those broadcasts the judge has been making? <sighs> Something's been bothering me. I can't quite shake it. People been looking at Becca and whispering a lot lately, and, and then there was that whole thing where the sheriff kept calling her Alex. I don't know. Maybe it's none of my business, but if you happen to run into him, could you ask him what he knows? I really like this girl. I just want to make sure I'm not making a mistake. Happy to help. Thanks. You obviously don't mention this to Becca, right? Of course not. Have you looked at the streets lately? It's like every day is zombie pride day.
Say, you want to see just about the coolest way to kill Zeds ever? I need a breather. around now. Need an escort. They need you to bail them out of a jam. Those might be survivors. There we go. Spotted a weird one. There's a building we want to check out. That's not a normal zombie. Damn, I'm tired. Damn, I'm tired. Anything at home I should be worried about? There's an issue with the infirmary. We're trying to get it set up, but we don't have everything we need. We can track it down, or find another way. But it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt.
I'll run this home. We'll be ready. I need a breather. I don't have enough space for this. That should do it. I've got a lead on something for you. We need to get a better look at our surroundings. Here's the cord.
Congrats that off the wish list. I need a breather. You say so. Maybe grab some meds from the communal supply, though, huh? Not now. How'd you feel about helping us do a little Zed-related house cleaning? Made it. Gonna look around now. That... That's a lot of zombies. I see some place worth a scavenging run. Mm-hmm. Spotted a weird one. There's a building we'll want to check out. Spotted a weird one. Okay, that was it. Position. Find yourself a good high vantage point. You're going to be doing some spotting for us.
Okay. Now we're looking for high concentrations of brain-eating assholes. Let us know what you find. Oh, thank God. Time to go home. Guess I've taken up enough of your time already. Let's get out of here. Not exactly used to being rescued like that. I've been taking care of myself pretty much my whole life. Mom skipped town when I was four. Dad was high more often than not. Learn pretty quick you can't count on anybody else to look after you. Sorry, I'm rambling. I'm trying to say thanks. Nice to know the end of the world hasn't turned everybody into selfish assholes. Here we- Thanks, we've got it from here. might be able to hold off another attack, if we're lucky. You know what's awesome? Outpost. We should set up more. There's some trouble we might want to look into. All right, I'm in the area. Find yourself a good spot to get a bird's eye view. I got nothing left. <clears throat> See a horde, sing out. That's a lot of zombies. That's not a normal zombie. And we're done here. Enjoy your new smoking crater. Spotted a weird one. 
That's not a normal zombie. I see some place with a scavenger craft. Spotted a weird one. God damn, that's a lot. Incoming. Clear the area. Done and done. Tell Eric he owes us. Better look around somewhere. For Claire. I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. I found some supplies. Send runners for pickup. Okay, I'll round up everybody that's available. Appreciate it. I think we could hold this place. Are you sure? That's a big decision. Let's do this. I got nothing left.
I'm in position. I'm gonna take a quick look around. I'm already loaded down here. some supplies. Send runners for pickup. They'll be on their way soon. Thank you. Glad you made it. Hope this wasn't too far out of your way. I like to come up here sometimes to think. Really gives you a sense of the big picture, you know? Go ahead. Have a look. Take it in. My family's got deep roots in this town. My grandpa started with nothing but the deed to a few dozen acres of empty wilderness. And he spun it into a lumber empire that put all four of his kids through college. My father took that education and gave back to this town. Miguel Santos was the first Latino mayor Marshall ever had. Did you know that? Community, you see. That's what matters, now more than ever. All of us together, doing our own thing, but helping our neighbors when they need it. Marshall's seen some pretty bad times, and some good. But my family's always done our part to help her through the bad and make the good even better. The way I see it, this whole thing is just another bad time. And I just know my daddy and granddaddy are looking down at me right now saying, Raimundo, you've got to do the right thing. So that's what I'm doing. Just helping out any way I can. You need supplies, I can arrange a trade. You need a car, I can hook you up. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. You've probably got a lot on your mind. You don't need old Ray talking your ear off. Tell you what, though. Give me a little while to put something together. A sort of a welcome to the neighborhood present. I'll give you a call when it's ready. See you then? Whatever you say. Perfect. You stay safe out there. 